Hey everybody, welcome back to Sports Class with Mr. Finn. Today we're actually just going to take some notes, and that's what I'm going to have you turn in today, because I wanted to talk a little bit about COVID uh, and how it has an impact on sports. So, again, you're going to be turning your notes today, uh, and I'm going to write some things on the board, and just to discuss a couple things. So, COVID, COVID-19, the disease that is spreading around uh, the world right now, and in the United States specifically, is going to have an impact on our sports. So, some of the things that it has done, let's look at first, college football. So, it's interesting to look at how different sports have worked around this. And college football said, hey, we're going to move forward with our season and basically we're going to see how it goes. And there's a lot of different leagues. And in college football, what we're seeing is many games um, postponed. Many games are postponed. Actually, a lot of games are even being canceled in college football because there is, it's, it's, it's hard to maintain a season, especially in college football because you have a lot of different athletes. Football has a lot of uh, you know, players on each team and they're younger and some are still hanging out and doing things and might not be taking it quite as seriously as they should. And so college football is really having a hard time with COVID. On the other hand, on this side, let's look at something that we got done talking about a few weeks ago, the NBA, which is the Basketball Association, um, did something in a what they called a bubble. Now they had the teams uh, stay in a bubble, <laughs> not a physical bubble, but in one spot. Uh, they stayed in hotels and they would all play games and they were not allowed to leave. I mean, they could leave, but then they would have to go through the process of coming back into what they called this bubble. Uh, this is one space for all teams. They actually did it at a Disney uh, resort in Florida where they have many hotels and each team was in different hotels and they all stayed there and they were all in this one space and they actually were able to get through their season. They had very minimal um, COVID outbreaks. So low, they, in fact they didn't even have an outbreak. They had low um, issues. And they were able to get through their season. We had an NBA champion. Uh, we talked about the Lakers already. But they, were, they actually did pretty well. Baseball, to finish up our notes today, again, this is just what you're turning into me today, um, is going to kind of be in between. So let's do an in between with our baseball. Baseball has teams that are going to different places. And what happens is they had, well, they had, it's over and out, but they had testing done regularly so they could see what was happening and how people were going. Um, and for the most part, if someone had, uh, you know, issues or a team had an outbreak, they would actually have to postpone or cancel some of their games, but they shortened the season. For our notes, short season. So they have a short season, so they're able to get through quickly, and if there was an outbreak on a team, they would postpone or cancel it, and then they would just kind of work around that, extend the playoffs, so that more people could get into, basically, deal with the changes that happen. And what we're gonna see actually in baseball had an interesting thing happen in the World Series. Uh, one player, he tests positive in the World Series. Now, this is important because it was kind of a crazy thing. A player had a positive test that the results came back while he was playing, and while he was playing in the final game of the World Series, Justin Turner was his name, he got pulled off of the field, and it caused some questions. Like, okay, baseball, how did this happen? Why didn't we know ahead of time? Why are you finding out in the middle of a game? Uh, has he now exposed people? There's a flaw in what you're doing, baseball, and your testing of COVID. So, this is COVID-19 has played a big role in our sports class and in our sports in general at this point, at this time, and it will continue to, but today I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and just have you write down some notes for me, take notes. Uh, you've done a lot of work in this class and I thought, hey, you know, instead of giving me opinion about this or that or looking something up, you give me this information on a brief discussion about COVID. So make sure you turn this in to me today for participation and attendance purposes, and I will see you next class.